first just a review of the basics. If we're looking at C major pentatonic, and it's C, D, E, G, A, C. And if we analyze this through intervals, we see one, two, three, five, six, one. It's relative minor, one minor third, four, five, flat seven, and one. But there are three less common modes remaining here. So if we start the C major pentatonic on G and treat G as the root, one name that we could give it is G mixolydian pentatonic. But this name doesn't help us understand how to use it. In fact, it doesn't seem to have the key ingredients that would make something mixolydian. So I'm going to call it G suspended pentatonic. The reason is it doesn't have a third. It also doesn't have a seventh, and that's what makes it useful. If we're playing over not a G major chord or a G minor chord, but say a G sus2 chord, it fits perfectly. Because D is the second degree of C, we could call this D Dorian pentatonic. But if we're going to name it based on how to use it, I would call it D dominant 7 sus pentatonic. The reason, similar to the G sus pentatonic, it doesn't have a third. However, it has a second and it has a fourth, so it lends itself to suspended chords. This one also has the flat seven, though. So it works really well and sounds pretty awesome against dominant seven sus chords. I found myself in a masochistic mood this morning, I suppose, and I thought, what would be the best way to ruin my morning? And I go, oh, I know. I'll go on YouTube and I'll look up videos about modes of the pentatonic scale before I make my own video. And it worked. 